you're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This is episode number five, called Questions to Ask When Identifying Plants. In this episode, I discuss questions to ask yourself when you find and want to identify a plant which is new to you. I invite you to visit IdentifyThatPlant.com for more plant identification resources and information. Asking questions and determining the answers guides us toward a category or type of plant. Further questions help to focus on the details. Field guides frequently use a question and answer format to narrow down the range of possibilities for identifying a species of plant. So what questions would be useful? Of course, the first question is, is this one of the hazardous plants I've learned about? The second group of questions are broad. These help to classify or categorize the plant as a wildflower, a tree, a fern, a succulent, and so on. After deciding the category of plant, the next questions are more specific to that category. For example, if this is a wildflower, then we might ask what color the flower is how many petals it has, the shape of the flower, the shape of the leaf, and the height of the plant. Or, if we are looking at a tree, then the questions would focus on such things as the shape of the leaf, the type and color of the tree's bark, and the kind of fruits or seeds it develops. Even more specific questions will arise as you hone in on the identification. These are questions which you devise based on a field guide's description for several possible choices of plant. People have come up with a variety of ways to categorize a plant. At identifythatplant.com, you can find and download a two-page outline of broad plant categories which match typical field guides or other resources for identifying plants. Look for the website page called Handouts. Take this outline or any other lists of questions which you personally develop with you into the field. I'd like to give you some examples of how to use questions to identify a plant. When you look at this plant, the first question to ask is, is this a hazardous plant? If not, and this one is not, then I wonder if this is a weed, a shrub, maybe a young tree. What do you think? If you've never seen this plant before, then you might be confused. It's low-growing and might therefore be a shrub. So look around and see if you can find other examples of this plant in the vicinity. Look high to see if there is a nearby tree with the same kind of leaf. Ah, there is! So this is a tree and not a shrub. How about this plant? I see it has three leaves, which is a characteristic of poison ivy. Is this a hazardous plant? Oh, look at the compound leaf. Each leaflet has a petiolule, a stalk, and the middle leaflet has a longer petiolule. This is poison ivy. Here's another plant with three leaves. Could it be a hazardous plant? The leaves look very different from poison ivy. The stem is fleshy. The plant only has these three leaves, and the leaves come together in the center. So this is not poison ivy. And here's another nearby example of this plant. It has a large white flower. Hmm, I would put this in the wildflower category. Is this a hazardous plant? It does not match the description of any hazardous plants which grow in my area. It's growing in water. And there are some more nearby examples of the plant which are also growing in water. This looks like it must be an aquatic plant. Okay, I've decided this is a wildflower. Now I need to ask more questions to be able to match it up with a description in a field guide for wildflowers. How many petals does it have? What color? When does it bloom? How tall is this plant? What is the habitat? What do its leaves look like? After making note of the answers to these questions, I can start searching in a field guide. I'll give you the answer. This is bloodroot. Let's look at this tree. More specific tree category questions would include, is this evergreen? 
Deciduous. How many leaves or needles are in a group? What are the length of the leaves? What is the arrangement of the leaves on the twig or branch? What does the cone look like? By the way, this is an eastern hemlock. I explore more in-depth questions for various categories of plants in the next series of podcasts, which are part of the learning program at Identify That Plant. The program includes modules which focus on characteristics of a plant category which are specific to that type of plant. For example, in one module, I define aspects of wildflowers and give you practice identifying specific wildflowers. In another module, I define aspects of herbaceous plants and again give you lots of practice examples to identify. I encourage you to develop your own list of typical questions to ask yourself when looking at an unknown plant. Take your list with you on walks outdoors and write your answers. Then, when you return home, you can figure out what that plant is called. What type of plant is most common where you live? Do you have herbaceous plants? Woody plants? Succulents? I invite you to respond at identifythatplant.com. Look for the blog post titled, Questions to Ask When Identifying Plants. The next podcast demonstrates photo-taking skills, which can help you as you identify plants. Visit IdentifyThatPlant.com for more plant identification resources and information about how you can confidently master these skills of correct plant identification. You've been watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire.